guys is like from exploring tech and uh, I think a lot of uh, us YouTubers, I mean new YouTubers like us uh, uh, have to go through a time like this uh, when you really realize that audio on in your video is really important thing besides the, just the video quality and the content and you also realize that uh, the internal mic of your camera is not good enough to be justified or decent enough to be good so therefore you decide to uh, record your audio externally but definitely uh, you do not have the money to buy a decent or good enough uh, external mic so you go on finding solutions and uh, for recording audio externally uh, with the solutions you already have uh, without having uh, you to spend any kind of penny i have been through all kinds of things like recording audio with the headsets that we have for the pcs the mic in that and then the earphone mics and other stuffs and the audio recording on the phone so being through all of this uh, i have stuck with this one uh, it is actually the phone uh, let me check if it's recording or not well it is so I've stuck with the phone actually and I think uh, it's even better than the 100 or 200 rupees lavalier microphones available on Amazon because uh, the lavalier mics uh, for 100 or 200 rupees uh, or the earphone mics uh, they actually uh, cut on some of the frequencies they do not capture all the frequencies so it uh, at the end of the day it sounds a little bit unnatural and they fake the environment so I don't think it's a lot natural whereas the, the microphone on your phone is uh, captures almost all the uh, frequencies uh, which are produced uh, through your voice so i think that is a better option without spending any kind of penny uh, i do have a video dedicated of, on how to choose uh, the earphone mic as an external audio recorder i will link it here in the links i think if you want to check it out but yeah going through all these uh not all these years but uh more than a year i have um, experimented a lot of things and i definitely have stuck with the phone and even there uh, it's actually like a dilemma because you have a lot of tons of apps on play store uh, even including the stock or uh, audio recording app but not every time there is a good one and there's a lot of glitches in them so mine being the mi stock app or the redmi 4a which i use so it has the mi stock uh, audio recorder which turns out to be uh, pretty simple and good but it has a couple of glitches so after going through a ton of uh, there are a ton of audio recording apps on the play store uh, after going through most of the popular apps on play store i have stuck with this one it's called the audio recorder and it's from sony communications this is by far the most simplest and best app for audio recording uh, now what do i mean by best is that for me, audio recording has to be in a way which uh, where I do not want any kind of real-time filters being applied to my audio, like noise reduction. Uh, since I'm going to do that in post-processing after I've recorded my video and audio, so I don't want anything like that. I want the um, natural audio that uh, my mouth is throwing or I'm speaking uh, to its extreme, like really natural audio and the environment and everything. So. A lot of the apps that happen to be uh, popular uh, have lots of tons of customization. If you uh, want that, definitely this not this uh, app is not the one for you. It's really simple. But if you are uh, on my page, like making it as realistic as possible, sounding, making it sound as natural as possible, then I think by far this is the best app. And this is also the app uh, with the least amount of glitches because i record my audio and every now and then i found there uh, some uh, there are some weird frequencies and uh, humming noises even though there are actually no noises on, in the surroundings or background uh, this app definitely has that but it's really rare and it's to its um, limits which is really less uh, from the other apps so definitely at the end of the day after uh, without having spent a lot of money you uh, cannot actually get the, your desired sound quality or the kind of sound quality you want but definitely uh, without having spent any penny this is i think the best setup and a couple of tips if you really want uh, to use this is that uh, when you record your audio do not place the audio i mean direct in front of your mouth place it somewhere down or up it's best if placed at a 45 degree angle 
uh, because there were a lot of noise frequencies get cancelled and it really sounds clean. And I won't say that keep it as close to your mouth because a lot of the times that is not possible. But uh, do not uh, keep it far away more than a feet and a half. So that is the farthest that you can keep your phone to uh, not being captured all the you know surrounding noise and all the sound you hear right now it is from the phone and that same app that i have been testing for a month now and it's the one that i'm keeping for now it's straight right here and it's it's pretty decent i think uh, without uh, having to spend any kind of money on that uh, any kind of equipment dedicated to audio so that's been uh, it i think uh, if you do use any kind of other setup or any kind of different things for your audio, uh, let us know in the comments below for like that we can share our thoughts and maybe improve our audio quality because audio is a major thing. Um, I choose audio any day over the quality of the video because this is a 720p video. Uh, but if the audio is not good, not gonna probably gonna skip the video. Uh, but if the audio is great and even if the a video is in 720p, I think I I I I'd buy that. Maybe it's, it's personal preference, but I think um, audio is a step ahead or a step ahead more important than the video quality or resolution, uh, actually. Like it, definitely, if you uh, want to. If you do not like it, definitely that button works well. Uh, subscribe. Mm. Is there anything else? Share. Okay. Take care. Until then, keep exploring.